here at the Gregory Lind Gallery, and we're at a show of Barbara Takanagas on first Thursday in March 2008. Hi, Barbara. Thanks Hi, for joining Anna. us. Yeah. <laughs> so um, tell us, first of all, what's the name of the show? You know, uh, we, we couldn't come up with a title, so okay. it's just paintings. It's just new paintings yeah. or paintings. All right. And now, is this the biggest piece that's in the exhibition? Or? Yeah, this is the biggest size that I've been working on. Uh huh. What size is it? It's uh, 70 by 60 inches. 70 by 60 inches. And what's the name of this piece? Um, this piece is called Drift Meets Arcadia. It's a painting. I had a painting called Drift and a painting called Arcadia. Okay. And I thought this was kind of the love child. Love child, like the two two met. Yeah. And right. Had this painting. So what happens often is maybe you develop certain skills or ideas in one painting and in another, and then you marry as you work on. Yeah, I, yeah I think it was just that I was working uh, under so many deadlines that this painting ended up being much closer to the other two, but still different. But still different. So could you tell us just a little bit about... Well, you know, your technique and how, how do you start a painting like this? Okay, this is all hand done, right? Right. It's all hand done. Right. And what's the medium? It's acrylic on linen, and mm -hmm. I start in the corners. Okay. And then... Um, Are you the saying drawing or painting? How, how I start with the drawing, the line drawing. Okay. And I just work from the corners to the center. And so there's a fairly random uh, element of how they come together in the middle. All right. So you're telling us that you you haven't got this absolutely planned when you first started. Oh start no, out. no, that's okay. the great fun of it. You don't really know. You just keep working toward the center, and mm -hmm. then you know things get smaller. And this one was great because it kind of came together in a star. Uh, yeah. Thing. Sometimes they they're very figural. And this is a is this a metallic paint or what is it? It is. It's um, iridescent and metallic, um, and it does a little flipping where uh, okay. from the side it looks like one color, and from uh, straight on it looks like another color. Exactly. Uh, so how long does it take for something like this to happen? Uh, you know, the big ones take. Uh, if I'm working five, six days a week. It, they could take a month, month and a half. Okay. You've got a couple of pieces over here. And what I find is interesting about these pieces is it looks like there's some, there's some spontaneity going on here. Is that true? Yeah. Tell I have us a little a, bit about it. Milk frother. You okay. Know, those things, and I've been sticking it in the paint and getting these splashy kind of um, pseudo abstract expressionist things, and then which I find very funny and because they're fast. And then I take a lot of time building the rest of the structure of tiny dots. All right, so you're telling us then that, that this part, the splash, comes first. Okay, so the splash comes first, and like, how did you develop, like, I don't know, that technique? What got what got you on that? Was it sort of like a break from the more pattern things, or um, I did it originally as a as a kind of foil to the mm -hmm. obsessive, careful building. Um, I thought, excuse me, that it would be really fun to do a, a pseudo. Abex thing, you know, like throwing paint. Okay. Only this was using a, you know, a, a milk frother kind of uh -huh. centrifugal kind of thing. Right. Centrifugal. Right. One of those. So are you kind of spoofing gestural painting in a sense, or? Um, in a way, except that I don't think the the painting looks like oh, painting I about painting. Building each other world, so I think. Um, you know, it, it's that way for me, but not necessarily um, how other people, people see how it. How other people would see it, okay. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of spontaneity here. All of that splash, that's the initial thing that goes down. Yeah. All right, and is this all about the sky? Tell me, tell, tell us, what is, what is this about? Um, you know, I think they're about uh, things coming together or falling apart. I mm -hmm. think of them as these sort of metaphors for me about mortality. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't necessarily expect other people to see that. Okay. A lot of people see them as about uh, kind of micro, macro um, science and cosmology kind of things together. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
So tell us now, you're having this show at Gregory Lind, and then you also just have one in New York, no? Where do you right. show it? Yeah, Mackenzie Fine Art. Mackenzie yeah. Fine Art. What else is happening for you in 2008? Uh, you know, outside of, you're painting a lot because you have all these deadlines, no? Right, right. Um, well, let's see. Uh, I have a show at uh, Julie Che Gallery in Boston in uh, October, mm -hmm. and um, a couple of group things. I'm in this great show right now in New York called It's Gouache and Gouache Only oh. um, at Andrea Meisland and Jeff Bailey. Cool. Yeah. Cool. And can I ask you, were you someone who like doodled a lot when you were a kid? Like, how how did you develop this particular way um, of painting? You know, it's uh, it's uh, slightly therapeutic because it's it's obvious there's a kind of a obsessive OCD kind of thing going on. What do you mean by that? You know, obsessive compulsive disorder. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, right. For you, the process is really important. Yeah. And yeah. you're just glad that the product turns out so good. Yes, I, I'm <laughs> glad that it turns out. Yes. <laughs> that it turns out. <laughs> do you ever have ones that, can, I mean, it seems to me like you have a technique where you could probably always save it. But do you have ones that ever, like, can't yeah. be saved? No, no. This this one, for instance, was really problematic because okay. I just had, the reason it has so many layers is because it just kept not turning out right. So it took. Yeah. It's a tiny painting, but it took a long time. It took a long time. Well, you know what? It looks like it. It is gorgeous. 